ever wondered why your design projects don't turn out as you imagined? Could it be your Photoshop skills? Yes, the world of graphic design is a complex and challenging one, full of intricate details and nuances that can make or break a project. And one of the biggest hurdles, mastering the beast that is Photoshop. With its myriad of tools, functions and capabilities, it can be a tough nut to crack. But don't worry, you're not alone in this struggle. The reality is, many graphic designers face similar struggles, particularly when it comes to harnessing the full potential of Photoshop. It's not just about knowing what each tool does, but understanding how to use them effectively to bring your creative vision to life. So how can we overcome these challenges? The answer lies in understanding and mastering the essential tools and techniques that Photoshop offers. Stay tuned as we delve into the world of Photoshop and uncover its secrets. The Photoshop interface might seem intimidating, but it's about knowing what you need. Let's start by breaking down this powerhouse into manageable chunks. On your screen, you'll see several panels, each with its own unique purpose. The most critical of these are the Layers, Tools and Options panels. What's the big deal with layers? Think of them as transparent sheets stacked on top of each other. Each layer can hold a different element of your design, allowing you to manipulate each part independently. It's like having an army of little artists, each working on a piece of the masterpiece. Now let's talk tools. Picture your virtual toolbox, filled with everything you need to create and edit your designs. There's a tool for every action, be it cropping, selecting, painting or retouching. If you're ever in doubt, hover over a tool and a tooltip will pop up to guide you. Remember, every great artist has their favorite tools, so don't be afraid to experiment and find yours. Last but certainly not least, we have the Options panel. This little gem is your personal assistant, adapting to the tool you're currently using and providing additional settings to fine-tune your work. It's like having a backstage crew at your disposal, ready to adjust the lighting, sound and set at a moment's notice. But what does all of this mean for your design process? It means control. It means creativity. It means the ability to take an idea and mold it into something tangible. Each panel plays a pivotal role in your design journey, providing the tools and flexibility to bring your vision to life. So don't be daunted by the complexity of the interface. Embrace it, learn it, master it. Each panel, each tool, each option is a stepping stone on your path to becoming a Photoshop maestro. Understanding the interface is the first step to mastering Photoshop. Scene script. Photoshop is packed with tools, but let's focus on the essentials. First up is the brush tool, a versatile instrument that's used for everything from drawing and painting to retouching photos. Its strength lies in its customizability. You can tweak its size, opacity and hardness to suit your needs. The brush tool is also pressure sensitive, meaning the harder you press, the darker and thicker the line. It's like having a box of colored pencils, paintbrushes and markers all in one. Now that's convenience at your fingertips. Next we have the eraser tool, the brush tool's perfect partner in crime. Just like a real eraser, it removes parts of your image. It's a go-to tool when you want to clean up the edges of an object or get rid of unwanted elements. Remember though, the eraser tool is permanent. Once you erase something, it's gone. So use it wisely, or better yet, use layer masks when you can. Speaking of layer masks, let's dive into them. Layer masks are a non-destructive way to hide parts of your image without permanently deleting them. Imagine them as digital invisibility cloaks. Anything under the cloak becomes invisible, but it's still there. You can always remove the cloak to reveal what's underneath. Layer masks are ideal for blending images, creating special effects, or anytime you want to keep your options open. Now, let's talk about the clone stamp tool. It's a fantastic tool for duplicating or removing elements in your image. The clone stamp tool works like a copy machine. You choose a source point in the image and it duplicates that area as you paint. It's perfect for removing blemishes, duplicating elements or even creating patterns. But remember, subtlety is key. Overuse can make your image look unnatural. Last but not least, let's look at the healing brush tool. This tool is your secret weapon for photo retouching. It's similar to the clone stamp tool, but it goes one step further. It not only copies the texture from the source area, but also matches the color and tone of the surrounding area. It's like having a mini photo lab in your computer, perfect for removing wrinkles, blemishes, or that pesky photo bomber in your shot. To sum up, Photoshop is a powerhouse filled with tools, but mastering the essentials. 
The brush, eraser, clone stamp, layer masks and healing brush tools will set the foundation for your Photoshop journey. Each tool has its unique strengths and uses. The brush and eraser tools allow you to draw and erase with precision. Layer masks give you the flexibility to hide and reveal parts of your image. The clone stamp tool is great for duplicating or removing elements, and the healing brush tool is your go-to for photo retouching. Remember, these tools are just the tip of the iceberg. Photoshop's potential is limitless, and so is yours. So don't be afraid to experiment and practice. The more you use these tools, the more comfortable you'll become and the better your designs will be. Master these tools and you're well on your way to becoming a Photoshop pro. Layers are the backbone of any Photoshop project. Now, you might be wondering, what are these layers we're talking about? Well, imagine you're creating a sandwich. Each ingredient you add, the bread, the lettuce, the tomato, represents a different layer. In Photoshop, Layers work in much the same way. Each layer represents a different element of your design. Creating a new layer in Photoshop is as simple as clicking a button. In the Layers panel, you'll find an icon that looks like a turned over page. That's your Create New Layer button. Click it and you've got a new layer. Easy, right? But remember, just like our sandwich, the order in which you add your layers matters. The layer at the top of your Layers panel is the one that will appear on top in your design. Now let's talk about managing these layers. You can rearrange them by simply dragging and dropping. Want to change the order? Just click and drag the layer to where you want it. You can also group layers together. This is particularly useful if you have a lot of layers and things are starting to get a bit messy. To group layers, select the ones you want to group, right click and choose group from layers. And voila, you've got a tidy little group. Editing layers is where the real magic happens. You can edit each layer individually without affecting the others. Think about it like this. If you decided you wanted to swap the tomato in your sandwich for an onion, you could do so without having to rebuild your entire sandwich. In Photoshop, you can do the same with your layers. Want to change the color of a layer? No problem, just select the layer and use the paint bucket tool to fill it with your new color. Perhaps one of the most powerful aspects of working with layers is the ability to adjust their opacity. This controls how transparent a layer is. You can make a layer more transparent to let the layers beneath it shine through, or make it completely opaque to block them out. The Opacity slider in the Layers panel controls this. Slide it to the left to decrease opacity, or to the right to increase it. Understanding layers is crucial in Photoshop. They provide a way to build complex designs piece by piece, giving you the flexibility to tweak and adjust your design without starting from scratch. They allow you to experiment and try different things, safe in the knowledge that you can always go back a step if you need to. Layers give you control and flexibility in your designs. They're not just a tool, they're your creative partner, allowing you to bring your wildest design dreams to life. So go ahead, start experimenting with layers and see where your creativity takes you. Now let's put those tools to use with some basic techniques. Photoshop's utility extends far beyond mere photo manipulation. It's a creative powerhouse, offering a plethora of tools and techniques to breathe life into your designs. Today we'll delve into some fundamental techniques, cropping, resizing, color adjustment, and retouching. Let's start with cropping. This technique is as straightforward as it sounds. It allows you to cut out the unnecessary parts of an image, helping you focus on the subject or the element that you want to highlight. It's like a pair of digital scissors for your designs, trimming away the excess to leave behind only what truly matters. Remember though, that cropping is permanent. Once you've cut something out, you can't get it back, so use this tool wisely. Next up is resizing. This technique is essential for ensuring your images fit perfectly within your design. Whether you're designing a banner, a poster, or a profile picture, each platform has its own size specifications. Photoshop's resizing tool allows you to adapt your images to these requirements effortlessly. You can enlarge or reduce your image without losing its quality, making it a versatile tool for all your design needs. Now let's talk about color adjustment. Colors play a huge role in setting the mood of a design. They can make an image pop, draw attention to specific elements, or even convey emotions. Photoshop's color adjustment tools enable you to play with hues, saturation, and brightness to achieve the desired effect. For example, you can transform a bright sunny day into a moody, overcast afternoon with just a few tweaks. Or, you can make a dull image vibrant by enhancing its colors. 
the possibilities are endless. Lastly, we have retouching. This technique is all about polishing your images, removing any imperfections, and enhancing their overall quality. With Photoshop's retouching tools, you can remove blemishes, smooth out wrinkles, correct red eye, and even whiten teeth. This technique is crucial for professional photographers and graphic designers who need their images to be flawless. But retouching isn't just about beautifying images, it's also a powerful storytelling tool. By manipulating an image, you can change its narrative, create emphasis, or even add elements that weren't there before. For example, you can use retouching to add a dramatic sunset to a plain sky, or to create a vintage look for a modern photo. So don't be afraid to get creative with it. Remember, these techniques are not standalone. They often work best when used in tandem. Cropping and resizing can help you frame your subject better. Color adjustments can enhance the mood after you've retouched an image. It's all about experimenting and finding what works best for your design. It's also worth noting that while these are basic techniques, they require practice to master. Don't be discouraged if your first few attempts don't turn out as you'd hoped. Keep practicing and soon you'll be able to manipulate images with ease. In the world of Photoshop, the only limit is your imagination. So go ahead and explore these techniques. Play around with them, see what you can create. Remember, every great designer started somewhere. And with these basic techniques, you're already on your way to becoming a Photoshop Pro. These techniques are the building blocks of any design project. Feeling comfortable? Let's kick things up a notch with some advanced techniques. As we delve deeper into the world of graphic design, we come across some advanced Photoshop techniques that can truly elevate your designs. These techniques may initially seem complex, but with a bit of practice, they can become second nature. Today, we'll be discussing blending modes, layer styles, and smart objects. Blending modes are a powerful feature in Photoshop that can drastically alter the way layers interact with each other. They control how pixels in your image are affected by a painting or editing tool. Think of it as combining different elements to create a unique blend. For example, the multiply blending mode creates an effect that's similar to multiple layers of semi-transparent images. On the other hand, the screen blending mode is akin to projecting multiple photographic slides on top of each other. Each blending mode offers a different visual effect, providing endless possibilities for your designs. Next up, we have layer styles. These are special effects that can be applied to a layer or layer group. You can add a stroke, a glow, a shadow, and much more. By using layer styles, you can easily create a consistent look and feel across your design. They're non-destructive and editable, meaning you can adjust, hide, or remove them at any time without affecting your original layer. One of the most popular layer styles is the drop shadow. It adds a shadow effect that makes your layer appear as if it's floating above the layers beneath it. A simple yet effective way to add depth to your designs. Finally, let's talk about smart objects. These are layers that contain image data from raster or vector images. They preserve the image's source content with all its original characteristics, enabling you to perform non-destructive editing to the layer. With smart objects, you can resize, rotate, skew, distort, or apply filters without losing original image quality. It's like having an insurance policy for your design. For instance, if you're working on a logo design, you can convert it into a smart object. This allows you to resize it as many times as you want without worrying about pixelation or loss of quality. Each of these advanced techniques brings a unique set of capabilities to your Photoshop toolkit. Blending modes allow you to control how layers interact, creating a wide range of visual effects. Layer styles offer a variety of effects that can be applied to a layer or group, adding consistency and depth to your designs. And smart objects, they preserve the quality of your images, providing a safety net for your designs. Remember, mastering these techniques requires practice. Don't be disheartened if you don't get it right the first time. Experiment with different blending modes, play around with various layer styles, and get comfortable with the use of smart objects. Every artist has a unique style, and these techniques are merely tools to help you express that style more effectively. So keep practicing, keep experimenting, and most importantly, keep creating. With these advanced techniques at your disposal, you're well on your way to becoming a Photoshop Pro. With these advanced techniques, you can take your designs to the next level. Let's recap what we've learned about mastering Photoshop. Our journey began by acknowledging the struggles of graphic design, 
the challenges that can sometimes feel overwhelming. But we also established that with the right tools, knowledge and practice, these struggles can be turned into stepping stones towards becoming a proficient graphic designer. Then we dove into the Photoshop interface, exploring its vast landscape. We learned about the toolbox, the panels, the menus, and how they all come together to form a cohesive workspace. We understood that getting comfortable with this interface is the first step towards mastering Photoshop. Next, we moved on to the essential Photoshop tools. We went through the brush tool, the eraser, the gradient tool, the various selection tools, and many others. We learned how each tool has its unique function and how they can be used individually or in conjunction to create stunning designs. We also spent time understanding the concept of layers in Photoshop. We learned how layers can be stacked, blended, and manipulated to create complex compositions. We discovered how layers add depth and flexibility to our designs, allowing us to make changes without affecting the entire image. We then delved into basic Photoshop techniques. We explored how to adjust brightness and contrast, how to manipulate color balance, and how to use filters and effects to transform ordinary images into extraordinary works of art. Finally, we ventured into advanced Photoshop techniques. We learned how to use layer masks, blending modes and adjustment layers. We discovered how to create vector shapes, how to retouch images, and even how to create animations. But remember, this is just the beginning. Each of these tools, techniques, and concepts can be explored further, practiced more, and mastered over time. Photoshop is a vast universe, and there is always more to learn, more to discover. Remember, mastering Photoshop takes time and practice, so keep experimenting and happy designing.